apps TikTok. Schools across the country and here in Florida are seeing damage like this because of a challenge trending on the social media app. It's called the Devious Licks Challenge. A new TikTok trend is inspiring students to steal items from school and even vandalize bathrooms. It's called the Devious Lick Challenge. And this morning, several local school districts are warning everyone to put an end to it. New TikTok challenges encouraging kids to wreak havoc in schools are going viral. And South Florida schools leaders want it to stop. Now, South Florida teachers unions sending out a warning about a new TikTok challenge that targets teachers. The social media platform is already being blamed for students damaging bathrooms for something called devious licks likes. Salt of two so-called challenges on TikTok. The so-called bathroom and devious lick challenges encourage users to post videos of themselves stealing items and damaging school bathrooms. And Destructive challenge on the social media site TikTok has teens stealing and destroying property at their schools. The result is thousands of dollars in damage to schools across the Bay Area and the country, all documented for likes on TikTok. The latest TikTok trend to reach schools in the DMV. The result of the devious licks challenge, similar to what you'll see in schools across the U.S. Soap and paper. Viral TikTok trend going in the wrong direction. It's happening in our local schools. So this trend, you might have heard of it. It's called devious licks, and students have been recording themselves vandalizing and stealing school property. Fox 5's Paris Jones is looking into how it's affecting our area and has reaction. Good evening, Tigers, and welcome to Tiger News. I'm your host, AJ Clark, this evening and come to you all with a developing story relating to the popular social media platform, TikTok. <clears throat> this app is very popular amongst teenagers for dancing, how-to, and meme videos, but unfortunately this app has recently had an increased negative influence on teenagers and has even led to some crime. Senior reporter Andrew Mitchek is at the scene to tell us a little bit more about this today. Thanks, AJ. I'm standing here in a local high school bathroom where a devious lick has just occurred and students are on a rampage. Their brains have been completely and totally taken over by the social media influencers from the app TikTok, where the students appear to have been commanded by the app to destroy public property without any hesitation. Officials are uncertain as of to how this app is able to have this much influence over these students' minds, but many believe this influencing force to be related to behavioral targeting. Back to you, AJ. Behavioral targeting, that's quite the complex subject. To tell us a little bit more about this issue, we have brought in Harvard professor, Dr. Andrew Mitchek. How are you today, sir? I'm doing great, thanks, AJ. Thank you for having me on the show as well. Yeah, no, thanks for being here. So tell us a little bit more about this subject, Dr. Mitchek. Class is in session. <laughs> <laughs> sure. As the world is getting more and more digitalized, we're seeing marketing trends adjust to this shift in digitalization. The best example of this is behavioral targeting. Behavioral targeting is a more efficient and more cost-effective way than traditional marketing tactics as it, complete, as it can be completely automated by a computer. Behavioral targeting tracks the user's online activity using key metrics such as searches, interactions on a website, and other data. We then use this data to create targeted ads to our desired audience. Think of this as, market, as a marketing agent who's taking notes on you while, working, or while you're shopping at a shopping store in a mall. Uh, he takes notes of all the items that you stop to look at, how long you look at those items, what items you go to try on, and which ones you ultimately purchase. This data allows us marketers to create targeted ads that are custom tailored to each of the users. Wow. That sounds uh, pretty impactful. Um, so tell me, is this behavioral marketing brainwashing these children to do these devious licks? <laughs> it certainly is playing a role, but at the end of the day, each person is making their own decision, not these marketing tactics. Interesting. So I'm curious to know if you would say there are some con ethical concerns involving behavioral marketing. That's a pretty loaded question, AJ. As with anything, there are pros and cons. With that being said, there are some ethical concerns regarding how companies get, in, get their information on their consumers. For example, America is an opt-out country. Mm. This means that users have to opt out of the information that's being used about them. The only problem here, AJ, is that most don't even know that their information is being tracked, so they never opt out. Now, there are areas that have opt-in clauses, like in Europe. And in this system, users are asked whether a website can use their information or not. 
It certainly is a give and take, and the power dynamics between these two beings is really interesting. This, this issue has yet to be resolved, but one thing is for sure. Business is certainly being impacted by behavioral marketing. Wow. So I feel like I'm learning a lot, and I'm not even in your class. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time, Dr. Mitchek. I know we certainly have a lot of students watching our, our news show, and so if anyone in the audience has the privilege of getting their MBA from Harvard University, they'll certainly have the privilege of getting to know you more. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back with more on this subject. <laughs>